the city. An epicenter of human interaction and an environment as wild as any natural jungle. The city of Edmonton has an average population density of 1,360.9 people per square kilometer, with a total population of over 930,000. This is not the largest or most dense city in the world, but with this many people combined with the harsh winter conditions, it can make navigation in this city dangerous. In 2016, there were 2,677 fatal and injury-causing vehicle collisions. These collisions were mostly concentrated in the downtown high-traffic areas, where the city is the most closely packed. With the danger of the roads very present in the city, a smart alternative is the light rail train, or LRT. It's pretty convenient for me. Seeing as I don't have a vehicle, it's an easy way to get around the city. It's convenient, and uh, it's nice that you don't have to find parking. And I live right close by, so I can just hop on a train, it comes by every 10-15 minutes, and I can ride it all the way across the city. Pretty much no better way to go than town. Um, it's really good. It's a warm place, um, comfortable. I can eat all my snacks on there. First opened in Edmonton in 1978, the LRT served in bringing people to and from the busiest areas quickly and safely. Now, the first trains were the Siemens Dewag U2 models, measuring at 75 and a half feet long, using direct current motors. But these were later switched out for the Siemens SD160 models, which used alternating current motors. Light rail trains were first designed in the 1890s. Innovator Frank Sprague made this possible with his developments in the electric motors, controller mechanisms, and overhead cable connection technology. His work in these areas made electric trains a viable option for growing cities. He had a hand in designing electric motors that could be mounted on the axle of a train rather than on the car, as well as creating a mechanism to control more than one train car from a single console. Without these innovations of mechanical engineering, the public transportation system would have consisted of steam or horsepower vehicles, which seems ridiculous in the modern environment of the big city. One thing I bet you didn't know about Frank, Sprague, he has a patent on a double paperclip mechanism that holds your matchbook to your case of cigarettes. The more you know. Whether it's the student going to school or a businessman going to the office, the LRT is a safe, accessible mode of transport. The downtown areas are very closely packed and the traffic at rush hour is just the worst. The buildings are large and close together, which results in a high volume of people moving in and out, as well as a severe parking problem. The LRT allows people to get in and out of these areas without having to worry about traffic or parking, while still getting to work on time. Although there are those who don't like the LRT because of its noise, looks, or the space it takes up, Edmonton's LRT system transports an average of 112,531 people a day to their destination. So how often do you take the LRT? I take it every once in a while. Uh, every day. Six hours a day. Usually I just take a nap on there and see where it takes me. Regardless of any misgivings some may have about it, the LRT does its part in reducing traffic and allowing Edmonton to be designed in a compact way around its dense urban centers.